Water is important, and I think we all know that. And the world has plenty of water, but not plenty of clean water. And ironically, water can be pretty tough to clean. It can be full of dirt, chemicals, microorganisms, and if we want to drink it healthily, it has to be filtered. And lots of people have already thought of ways to solve that problem. We have tons of filtration technologies, and those are all <clears throat> how we can turn on the tap here at home and expect clean water consistently. But the problem is that not everyone lives in a place like we do. These filtration technologies are expensive and complicated, and so much of the world is left to do without them and without clean water, the most fundamental part of human survival. And that's what I wanted to change. I wanted to make a better filter, a filter designed for the rest of the world. It's called the biofilter, and it's a start to a sustainable solution to water filtration. But what does a filter for the rest of the world need to do? What does it have to be able to accomplish? A filter designed for underdeveloped parts of the planet needs to be accessible, affordable, and sustainable. It can't rely on electricity or complex machines because those are things that many people don't have access to. And no matter how the new filter would have to work, it needs to be affordable. If there's a cost barrier, there'll be people left thirsty just because they don't have the money. And it needs to be sustainable. We can't be just producing filters in a factory and sending them all over the world because that's just not an easy thing to distribute. It'd be a system that would fall apart over time. We need something that can regrow and sustain itself. Well, what about current filtration technologies? We have all kinds of things we use to filter, to filter water. And maybe there's an answer hidden in one of those. Now, since electricity is obviously not an option, there are two types of filters that we have. There are chemical filters, and there are microfiber filters. Now, chemical filters are like Brita filters, and they use a series of compounds and chemicals to clean the water that passes through them. They're definitely effective. I have one in my fridge, but they're not sustainable. These filters stop working after a few months of use, and what happens when you need to continually redistribute chemical filters to remote villages and communities around the world? It'd be impossible. It's an unsustainable solution. Now, microfiber filters are a little bit more renewable. They work basically as a sieve. They filter objects out by size. Essentially, they're just a microscopic net. But the problem with these filters is that they require frequent maintenance. Over time, they'll get clogged, and they're subject to a lot of mechanical damage. And if one breaks somewhere in a remote part of the world, the people there won't have the capabilities to repair it. More so, microfiber filters are extremely expensive to produce. You have to chemically synthesize the fibers, you have to lay them out in the right way to make that microscopic net. And if you want that net to be fine enough to capture things that harm us in water, like bacteria and other microbes and parasites, it becomes far too expensive, and it's not something that people would be able to afford. So with the way we currently handle water filtration, there's no way to solve the problem of global water quality. And that's what I wanted to change. That's what I wanted to remedy. So I tried to approach with the biofilter the problem from an angle we haven't explored yet. I come from a biotech background, and one of the pillars of my field is using bacteria to make stuff, stuff that's usually difficult to come by, like insulin or biodiesel. I took that approach and applied it to our filter problem. And what I came up with is the biofilter. It's an organic polymer filter synthesized entirely by bacteria that's capable of purifying large volumes of liquid of all microbial contaminants. And this is it right here. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put this down. But, so the biofilter is just another type of fiber filter. It's made of polymers, which is just a fancy word for fiber. But we just saw that fiber filters aren't a sustainable solution. So what makes the biofilter different? What sets it apart is that the biofilter isn't manufactured. It's grown, grown using a specialized source bacteria. This bacteria secretes a fiber, and these fibers weave together to form the biofilter and makes that microscopic net structure that we need for filtration. It all takes place in a growth tank which is just another fancy word. The growth tank could just be a bucket or some Tupperware, which is preferable so no one like sneezes in it. The bacteria are just basically microscopic fiber-making machines, and if you give them the right nutrients, they produce this fiber. It's long and durable and natural in abundance, and these fibers weave themselves into that microscopic net. And that's all it takes to make a biofilter. In three to five days, 
in that little growth tank, you'll find a biofilter floating on top. You've seen what it looks like. It's like a rubbery pancake. You pick it up, rinse it off, and it's ready to be used. And using one is just as easy as growing one. Simply pump bacteria through the biofilter and get clean water. The fibers that weave together to make that net leave between them small pores. And the pores in the biofilter are less than a micron across, which means they're capable of capturing all the microbial contaminants you would find in natural sources of fresh water, like parasites, worms, and of course, bacteria. So the biofilter, because of this unique production method of using bacteria to make the filter, actually makes water filter accessible, affordable, and sustainable. It is a filter designed for the rest of the world. Because the bacteria come pre-packaged with all the machinery and resources that you need to make a biofilter, all you need to do is supply it the necessary nutrients. And the bacteria consume readily available natural resources that are abundant all over the world. They're basically just sugars. In fact, that biofilter was grown under my bed using nothing more than tea and sugar. Suddenly, we have this ability that anyone in the world can make their own water filter. It's the most accessible way to do it, give everyone the power to grow their own filter. And because the bacteria are doing all the work, the only material cost associated with making a biofilter is the cost of the nutrients. And tea and sugar is pretty cheap. And just given one dose of nutrients, the bacteria are able to produce multiple biofilters. It all leads to a material cost of one biofilter being significantly less than a single dollar. They can get the most affordable water filter that's ever existed. Most importantly, the biofilter is a sustainable system. The bacteria that produce it are living organisms. And so while they're making the biofilter, they're also making more of themselves. So communities and villages all over the world, if they had that bacteria, would be able to continuously produce their own biofilters. And sure, you could send millions of traditional filters around the world. But what happens when one breaks or one's no longer fit for use? It'd be impossible to maintain, as we've already seen. But with the biofilter, when your first filter is clogged or broken or no longer fit for use, however it is, another one has already been growing while you were using the first one. So everyone has a consistent supply of this filter. And let's say one community or village's bacteria fail to grow. Someone, I don't know, kicks over the bucket and sneezes on the Tupperware, whatever it is. It's not a problem because everyone else's bacteria are multiplying on their own. All you need to do is go to a neighboring village, borrow some of their bacteria, bring it back, and you're back and ready to go. This means that anywhere you find yourself in the world, you'd be able to have access to that bacteria, which means that anywhere you are in the world, you can have access to clean water. That simple change of perspective, moving from manufacturing a filter to growing the filter, is what lets the biofilter be the solution to global drinking water. It's accessible. Anyone in the world can make it, and anyone in the world can use it. It's affordable. It uses resources that are readily available and abundant no matter where you are on the planet. And it's sustainable. It's a system that regrows and repairs itself without any need of intervention from the original source. The biofilter provides clean water no matter where it's needed. And that's what makes the biofilter part of the potential solution. It's a system that allows anyone to have the power to produce their own clean water, no matter where they are in the world, no matter how remote the place might be. The biofilter means clean water, and it means clean water for everyone, not just the people that have access to the current filtration technologies that we have access to. It truly is the first ever solution to global water quality. And that's a massive step forward for global health. But thank you all very much for your time. I really appreciate it. <laughs>